Hello, in this tutorial we're going to learn how we can roll up SharePoint list items and display them within inside a calendar. We could roll up tasks or also calendar lists and display them inside a calendar control allowing users to be able to navigate through today views or day views, week views and month views and so on. Typically with a roll up tool we're going to roll up content and display it inside a grid but that isn't always the best display for items that have start and end dates or also duration columns it's much better to be able to visualize them actually inside a calendar. So we've built this tasks view in a previous video. What we're going to do here is go through and create another view. So we'll simply click create view with inside the Lightning Conductor web part. And under the web part tab, we're going to name this view calendar. We will select the display provider rather than using the grid view. We're going to select an XSL T display provider and use the inbuilt Lightning Conductor calendar control. So we'll navigate to the data source tab next and we'll simply go through and select the site collections that contain the calendars that we want to aggregate from. So I'm going to choose a number of different site collections here. We will set the list type as calendar or we could also do tasks or both if we wanted to. And then we're also going to go through and select the columns tab. Now the columns tab is largely irrelevant in this particular instance because we're not building the view here, the views are already created. But what we can do is select them and specify any filters that we want or um, any sorting criteria. So uh, we'll basically select all of the columns and that will make them available to the XSL. If you wanted to also make any modifications to the XSL, bear in mind that you can also add things like calculated columns and include those calculated columns with inside your XSL as well. What we're going to do is simply go through to the display tab and on that display tab we've got some built-in Lightning Tools XSL styles and we're going to choose the calendar XSL style. Now we can preview that calendar XSL style from here so we just hit preview and see exactly what it's going to look like. You can also view the code if you wanted to do that and you can take a copy of that code and make customizations to it. Uh, if you'd made a customization then you can save that file and upload it so it's available to other users that want to configure the Lightning Conductor with your calendar control. So finally we just hit save and that will build the calendar for us inside the instance of the Lightning Conductor. So we can go through and see what we're up to this week. Um, this is including three different site collections of, uh, of items, but as we hover over them, we can see some information there, such as uh, I'm going to be office based this week, and we've got the start date and the end date for that, and we can open up that item. And notice again, the item opens up in context with the page, so we're not losing where we are. Uh, and I can go through and simply click edit item if I wanted to change the start and end date, or maybe provide a category or something along those lines we can do so and uh, simply hit save and that item gets refreshed. So we have the uh, the month view as the default we can also go through and display a week view if we wanted to do it that way or we've also got a day view as well so we can see any items displaying in our calendar for today. So that's rolling up actual calendar lists. If we wanted to maybe display tasks inside a calendar, we can also do that. So we can hit the drop down and create a view. So this time we will call it tasks calendar. Once more, we will choose the XSLT display provider. Under the data source tab, uh, again, we will select the same three site collections. We will also select tasks this time as the list type that we want to roll up from. Under columns, again, we could make the columns available if we wanted to filter on them. And under the display tab, we can choose the calendar control. So we'll hit save. And so this time we now have our tasks displayed inside a calendar. Um, we've also got our standard tasks list as well so we can see the, the tasks in in either format in grid view 
or in a calendar and we can also see our calendar lists displayed inside a calendar as well. Okay, 